Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to the video. Happy, what day is it? I have absolutely no idea. This vlog is all over the place. I'm not even sure what's all gonna be in it, but I'm going to try and cover the several different things y'all have asked me to do. One of them being show you guys all of my tattoos. That has been requested a trillion times, so I will go through and show you every single tattoo I have, why I got it, how long it took, what hurts, etc. A tattoo tour is what people were telling me it was called, so I'm gonna do that. I will take you through my days coming forward. There's a few things exciting going on, fall things, you know. Just, just the good stuff. And yeah, so I'm super excited you're here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss another video. What else? What else is I gonna say? I switched my hydro drug sleeve in case anyone cares. I put a different one on. I should have had this one on when we were in Cancun because it's very tropical, but I switched it out. The new lids are here. Oh, by the time this video is up, the new lids will be available, so that's good. We're gonna make a Home Chef meal right now. Let's get to it. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and make some dinner right now, show you guys our routine. Pretty typical, pretty much the same. We always get a Home Chef box and we actually got home from vacation and it was the first thing in our fridge. Shout out to my cousin Sydney. She actually came over the day they were delivered on Tuesday and she threw them in our fridge for us, otherwise they would have rotted. So we just picked up four. My favorite currently is the oven ready, grill ready entree salads because so quick and easy to just have them ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of how we do it, but this is a monthly thing for us. We do this probably twice a month and it's just super convenient. I will show them to you in our fridge. All ready to go, perfectly lined up, easy to grab out. So we are going to do whichever one is the oven ready this one is. This one is the oven ready. We are gonna make the apple butter pork chop white with white cheddar green beans. I can't speak, so. I will walk y'all through this and we'll show you how we make it. So just for a perfect example, TV's on. I, my whole entire house is just a disaster. I worked out today. I had to go to work for a couple hours today. I worked on a YouTube video all day, just so incredibly busy. So the fast and easy meal plan with these oven ready meals is so great, especially for weeknights. What's today? Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. So great on week, weeknights because you can just grab it and throw it together really fast. It's seven o'clock right now. We're gonna get to eat within an hour, which is awesome. It's like five minutes of prep, which is great, fantastic. Everything is pre-cut, portioned out for you. Sam's gonna throw this together for us and I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. It takes about 25 to 35 minutes to cook this, I think, but in a sense, prep is absolutely nothing. So that's what we care about. That's the most important thing. So we'll go ahead and make this and show you guys the finished product. Ooh, chilling. Sam is putting together the home chef. Like I said, there's literally no prep to minimal. Also had minimal food today. The only thing I ate was a cup of egg whites. <laughs> Good job, Holly. But we just got back from eating like three times a day, all day long. I'm gonna have some cottage cheese. Three times a day, full buffets. I don't know if you guys have ever been to an all-inclusive, but the food is just unreal. You have so many options, things you, oh, that looks good. I think I'll have that too, or that looks tasty. Let me add that to my meal. I mean, I think I had french fries every single day for lunch, every single day. So, love it. While we're waiting for Home Chef, I'm going to have cottage cheese. If you've never had this cottage cheese, this is my favorite. It's the 1% cottage cheese. It's 80 calories. Really good nutrition. I love the protein content on this one specifically. It's 13 grams, which is awesome and butter popcorn, rice cakes. Sorry, I hate talking with my mouth full. 35 calories, seven carb. Very close to popcorn tasting if you like popcorn. If you're a popcorn gal, another good snack idea. I'm showing food, everybody. You all came at me in a video about showing food. Here I am, I'm doing it forever. You'll always see my food now.
cooked very fast. So, as always, Home Chef always hooks me up with the code. If you guys are interested in trying out our favorite meal prep service, you can get $80 off your first four orders, which is $20 each order. I highly recommend you can stop it, you can pause it, you can keep it going, you can do what you wanna do. If you are busy like me, and you have a very active lifestyle, I highly recommend it. It does make your life a little bit easier. A couple times a month, once a month even is great. So they have a ton of meal options each week. You can personalize them, do what you wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and eat this and continue on in the vlog. So I just got home, it is 6.30 on Saturday. I filmed this Thursday night, Thursday night and Friday. Uh, before I show you guys all my tattoos, I want to show you a few things that I picked up today with my mom. It was kind of like a fun, get home, reset, be with my mom. I haven't seen my mom that much and Sam's with his mom today and it's just nice to see my mom and hang out and do our thing, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Chick-fil-A, like what we always do. It was really, really nice to do that. And we picked up a few things. I don't know about you guys, but I just have not, let me set my camera down here, maybe. I don't know what my deal is, but I don't feel Christmas spirity and my mom very much so is we were in home goods and looking around and she's like you definitely don't want to be here right now I'm, I'm just I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the I just wasn't in the Christmas mood in the store I was looking at stuff and just got home I don't know if it's because of vacation or what but I just wasn't feeling the whole Holly jolly Christmas mode and then I took a snapchat or an Instagram story of the pillows and the blankets in the aisle and I put a song on there. I think it was it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas or something and then I was in the Christmas mode. So I don't know. Does anybody else feel like that? Last year I literally put up my Christmas tree on Halloween. So that was my mood last year. Um, but I think I was still, I don't even know. Last year we were going through Sam's dad's cancer and everything like that. So I can't, I know I did it on Christmas or on Halloween one year. I think that maybe that was two years ago. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling very festive, but then we went to a couple stores and I was getting more in the shopping mood and I think vacation and being in a tropical spot definitely dimmed it down. But anyways, I found some great holiday stuff. I wanna share it with you. You guys love hauls for the most part. So I'm gonna show you that because I enjoy showing that content. I always look for the affordable deal. Hobby Lobby has 50% off Christmas right now, which is a win-win and most of my clothes are always from Target and TJ so when I show these hauls I never want it to be I'm bragging or I'm showing you guys look at what I have it's not how it is at all I love watching hauls so I always like to put that out there right away if you don't like hauls don't watch it otherwise let's get into what I got today I'm not gonna go in particular order but we went to Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, TJ Maxx and Target so we hit five stores today and got something from everywhere so we'll just start over here with the fun, fun Christmas signs. So yeah, like I said, I wasn't in the Christmas mode and then I saw these signs and felt like I had to have them. We'll start with this one first actually because this was at Hobby Lobby. And as we were walking out of the store, I looked up and you know how they have decor? Decor, they have decor up everywhere and they kind of show you, you know, like they place things around, what's it called? I can't think of what that's called when they you know, set up stuff to give you an idea. And I saw this one up there and I absolutely love it. And I'm thinking it's gonna go, I'm gonna redo this wall for the holidays. And I'm thinking these signs maybe, huh? I don't know. I have lots of spots, lots of wall space. So picked this up, it just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Has the white border around it. This is kind of what my house looks like. So picked that up and we obviously have, this looks like chalk and it's on there perfectly. So. Love that. This was originally 60, I want to say. It was originally 69.99 and then it's half off. So, about 35 bucks. Well worth it in my opinion. This will last for years. Great, great buy. This one is from Kirkland's and this one was 52, I want to say, 52.99. This was 30% off. So, still really awesome. I love the red. I love the season. I love it saying jolly because I'm Holly and you know, I just love that. So pretty, love it. It's very decent size. Obviously this is my little coffee bar station and that's the size of it. So love that, can't wait to play around with those. I will put these in the basement for now and then when it's time to decorate for Christmas, get those out. Going off of the Christmas theme, Target came out with their annual Joy Mug. These are so cute. This one's only $4.99, I'm upside down, but this is the heart and hearth, hearth and Hearth and Hand, Hearth and Hand collection from Magnolia. I have the Joy one from last year, and right when we moved into my house, I, the house here, 
I'm like out of breath, that's great. Right when we moved in, I used that mug the most. So this is just the seasonal and it's a little bit different than last year, I love that. And then I also had to get the Morning Beautiful because that's my favorite thing to hear in the morning. So I picked that one up. The bottom of it is, what's that word? Like, not clay, I don't know. I don't know, I love these, they're great. Cute mugs, I have 95, but it's fine. Got another candle from the Hearth and Hand Collection. I absolutely love these. If you've never tried these candles, oh my goodness, guys, they burn so amazing. They smell so, so good. I know that they're expensive. They're 20 bucks, but this is one of the things I splurge on because I love the container, the product outer, you know, the metal out here. I love this. So good. They just, I don't know, I love these, and I love supporting Magnolia. They're so awesome, so picked up Fireside. I can't wait until they come out with annual seasonal scents because... This scent alone, I could have 85 of these in my house and never get sick of it, so I'm excited to see what they come out for the holidays. Got some AAA batteries, you'll see why shortly. Picked up my favorite face sponge. This is what I use to put on my face makeup. I love this, it's huge, it's massive. That's my hand, that's the sponge, it's great. Puts your makeup on really, really fast if you wear liquid. I wanted a wallet, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on one. I have done that in the past, and the current one I have is Michael Kors. I hate the one I have right now because I'll show you guys why. I hate, also got this at Hobby Lobby. If you are looking for a snack that is dangerous as hell, go ahead and pick this up. It's delicious. I hate the one I have because this was actually a wristlet, but it doesn't open like this one does. I want a wallet that opens up like that instead of having one that, you know, is a zipper and you can't see everything, you know, that kind of thing. I want it to be open upable. So, I made that a word. I don't even know how much this was. I didn't even look, $14.99. So cute, they also have it in a dark green, but I wanted the light brown. I feel like that's more me and it's more seasonal and I will have this for probably as long as it will last. So, Because I've had this bad boy for years. The last time I bought a nice wallet was, I think my sophomore year of college and I'm gonna be 24 in April, so that's a while ago. But anyways, this is just from Target, $14.99. Cute, affordable, works, love it. Then I was in the shoe section and obviously we're going into winter, but when I see something I like, I have to get it. And I didn't see these this year, so I got these. They were on clearance for $17.48. I think I was still in the Mexico mode and thinking I was going to Mexico early. We were going to go in January. I'm not sure if we are or not, but we'll be going in March. So got these. If you see something you like, guys, pick it up. Always pick it up, okay? Also picked up this keychain at... Hobby Lobby. I thought that was cute. I've never seen anything like that, and I always am looking for fun new keychains, so I was excited to have that. Let's pop into the living room to see more signs, because I like signs. This is Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. I got this at Hobby Lob. This was only $17.99 and 50% off. Everything was 50 off, so had to pick up this. That's the Christmas tree. So pretty. I love it. This one right here is from, no, this is Hobby Lobby. Joy to the World has a little bit of a, what's I want to say, like a barn door background right there. I thought that was so pretty. There's so many places I could put this. Signs can go everywhere. You can add them in, you can throw them around with things. I just, I love them. So I picked that up too. Joy to the World. It's kind of dark in my living room, so I don't really know if y'all are going to be able to see stuff great, but love that. It'd be perfect in the kitchen, but that'll go in the basement for now. I'll just grab my clothes and bring them over here. So, let's see. This is from, I will actually model these for you guys. All right, so the first sweater I picked up was from TJ. This was only $16.99. This is a very pretty burnt yellow color, and it just kind of has a turtleneck up here, a line that goes down, and the sleeves cinch right there, and have a really, really nice cuff, and I love that. This is my favorite kind of cuff. So I got this, the bottom of it has a little bit of a cinch. Super comfortable, I'm having a tailgate party in November. So I was thinking this would be really nice or this would be a fun Thanksgiving sweater. Comfy, cozy, love it. Next sweatshirt is from Target, this is 20 bucks. If you guys remember in my last video, I showed you guys the Target one that said New York. Similar to this in the same section, I got one that says Portland. I also have a Portland shirt, I don't, know anybody in Portland, but I just love shirts like this and it's so cute. So picked this up, just a basic sweatshirt, comfy, lounge around, run errands, that kind of thing. Casual, affordable, that's my style. This next one is very similar to the shirt I'm wearing right now, if you can tell. 
It's so soft. These are so, so nice. This does cover your butt. This was $14.99. Show you the brand. So I get asked. Workshop is the brand. Just a big, nice, long, like I said, it covers your butt. Comfy, really, really soft material shirt to just wear around the house, errands, you know, that kind of thing, out, whatever. So cute, so cozy. Those were the clothes I got today. Let's see what else I have for you guys. I had to get another blankie because I'm a blankie person and I had to get the holiday one. So this is Eddie Bauer. The one we have over there is by Pendleton. I believe that's how you say that. But I had to get this one. I'll bring it into the light so you guys can actually see just how pretty it really is. I love, 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 love it. It's so soft. We love having lots of blankets and we have guests and stuff like that. It's just nice to have tons of different options. So I picked this up from TJ, no, Home Home Goods. Home Goods, $49.99. That's normally how much they are. So I was excited about that find. And then I got two light up candles from Hobby Lobby to go in my lanterns over there. I'm excited. I'll show you guys what that looks like when I do it. And then this pillow, $24.99 from Kirkland's. I will probably won't do anything with this until um, the new year, but it's just, it goes with everything I have, so I thought I needed that. And then this one as well, I probably won't do anything with it until the new year, but I loved the detailing on it. It's so pretty. It has little tassels on all four sides. This one was, I think this one was $19.99, I think. I think it was, no, $24.99. This was Home Goods, so. So that was my little haul today. A few things, haven't really shopped in a little bit since before vacation, so I was excited to go and just be with my mom, like I said. We did pick up some Halloween candy and stuff. I'm a very, very generous candy gal. I like to have lots of options, so I got lots of different options for the kids. We have a lot of kids in our neighborhood too, and then I just got some stuff for this tailgate thing that we're having later in November. But yeah, that's what I picked up today. All right, so I'm getting ready to head out to the gym, but I thought I would do my tattoo tour explanation of my tattoos and show you guys everything I have because you all are so curious and I love it because tattoos are a part of who I am. It is something I feel very strongly about and I am a nurse. I am allowed to show my tattoos. Let's just, let's just throw this out there right now. For everybody who <laughs> loves to hate on that kind of thing, don't even comment on my video because I'm going to tell you that Every single hospital is different, and I cannot reiterate this enough. To everybody who's considering tattoos or anybody who, you know, is at a hospital and they think that they can't have them or you can't have them and you're nervous about it, if you can have them and you want one, go get it, girlfriend, because you are allowed to express yourself. This is your life. This is your body. Nobody else gets to decide for you. If you want ink on yourself, go out there and get it because life is short and tomorrow we might not be here. So that's how I live. I do what I want to do with myself and... I'm happy. I will love my tattoos when they're old and saggy and I'm 95. I don't care. I love them. So I started getting a tattoo the minute I turned 18. The very first one I got was the one I'm going to show you guys. I can't, I think I can remember the order that I got them, but I'm going to, I might, I might not be exact, but I will show you guys what they look like. So let's go ahead and start with the very first tattoo I have. This tattoo actually says, give me strength when I'm standing and faith when I fall, always together, never apart. It has my birthday and my mom's birthday on it. My mom is my absolute rock, my soul, my person. Uh, she's been there for me in so many aspects of my life that I just, we share a bond that I can't describe and that was something that was very important to me was to have that on my body. Um, my mom's had health problems throughout my life and I've always had a strong anxiety fear of losing her and I, we just, we just decided together mutually that this was something we wanted to do and I knew from the minute I turned 18 that that was something I wanted on my body for the rest of my life. So that is the meaning behind that tattoo. It is me and my mom. It is about our bond and our relationship and I love that tattoo. It's one of my favorites. It is an infinity sign. It's about, you know, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what season of life I'm in, she's always with me. Uh, if she's here or not, it is a symbol of her and my relationship. So that is that tattoo on my side. I believe I got the next one up here on my back. This tattoo on my back is a quote that I have loved my entire life. I have danced for 18 years when I was in high school. I was a dancer when I was in elementary school and you know, grade school I was in studio dance, I did competitions, you know, the whole thing, competing, everything like that. So um, 
it says life is not about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain and again that is very symbolizing to me because Life has been hard in many aspects. Uh, life will always be hard. Life will always throw you curves. But it's not about how you, it's not about the things that life throws at you. It's about how you handle them. It's about learning to dance in the pain. It's about learning to dance in the rain. When life throws you shit, it's how you handle it. It's not about, you know, just what's happening to you. It's about how are you going to move forward? How are you going to deal with that? And that tattoo, oh my gosh, I might actually tear up. That tattoo symbolizes to me that, you know, Life, life will always throw you things. Life will always throw you curves, but it's a matter of, it's a matter of how you get through it. And this tattoo has just been so amazing to me through so many points because I look at it on my back and I always remember if I'm having a bad day or if, you know, I had a hard day at work or something happened that, you know, it's just a reminder. It's a very good reminder and it was important to me to have that. So that is the tattoo on my back. Just another thing to add about that too. I don't know if you noticed it. It's kind of faded over the years, but uh, that tattoo has some white lining on it. So with that tat, it... Oh, I should tell you guys about the pain tolerance on each of these too. I'll do that at the end. But there was... He did a white outline on the lettering and it looks so badass. I loved it so much. And people actually really noticed that. Like people who are tattoo fanatics were like, oh my God, that looks so freaking cool. So that's just another thing about that one. I can just tell you guys right now, the side is... A, the rib cage is a part where a lot of people say it hurts a lot. I actually didn't think that one was terrible. It does hurt when they're up kind of right on your bone, but it's a pain tolerance that you can handle if you know, you're know you halfway through the tattoo, it gets bearable. Uh, the back, this one actually, out of all my tattoos, I felt the upper back hurt the most. Um, not as bad as my foot, but I definitely thought that my upper back hurt. I was, I was writhing with that one. I'll tell you guys about my shoulder here too, but the back hurt, I felt like it hurt, but bearable. All right, this next tattoo is on my waist. This is a tattoo that was kind of last minute. I won't lie about it. I wanted it in the moment and, you know, it's still important to me today, but this wasn't one of my most thought out tattoos. I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to get too deep into this, but it is a cross and it is on my waist. I really do still love this tattoo. I planned on doing more with it, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it where it's at. It was a season in my life. I wanted it and here it is. It's there. So that is that tattoo. It is, you know, it is what it is. It's a cross. So, so my shoulder tattoo is probably my favorite tattoo on my whole body besides the one that I'm going to talk to you guys here about in a second about my grandpa. But my shoulder piece is a massive deal. I'm actually going to talk through this one and show you guys because this tattoo is my absolute favorite. I'm looking at myself opposite and I keep going to my opposite side for these tattoos. But so my shoulder piece is two pieces that I got done in two different sessions. This top one right here is my absolute favorite. I got this done when I think I was 20, 20 years old. It wraps around the top here on my shoulder blade and kind of comes down and around. This was a second piece, but this is the original right here. So the compass was second, but look at all of his amazing intricate detailing. I love this tattoo. So with this one specifically, this doesn't have tons of meaning besides the fact that I wanted a sleeve at one point. And this is actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to go all the way down my arm on this one. I might stop here and continue over here and do something else. I'm not entirely certain yet, but I'm working on wrapping this around my arm because I don't have anything over here. But this was just, I gave him some inspiration and I like to let the artist express themselves. So I gave him what I thought I wanted and he morphed it around and came up with this and I was so in love with it. So that's what it looks like right there. And then the compass is the second part. Really no meaning behind this besides I love compasses. I always have and I love the floral designs. My mom and I have very similar tattoos, not with the compass, but I just love uh, florals and stuff like that so we incorporated the compass with some florals to kind of go in with this theme and I thought he did a great job and it flows really seamlessly down my arm it has the west the north and then I do have a south down here so that is that one In terms of pain tolerance for my shoulder, definitely hurts right up in here. Doesn't feel that hot. My arm really wasn't too bad and I didn't think this one was too bad at all. So that was pain tolerance for those. All right, this next one is very, very recent. This is my latest tattoo. I'll show you guys my other, I'll show you guys my foot one. That's my last one, I think. How many tattoos is that? I'll count. This one is actually to represent my grandfather who passed away. This is his birthday in Roman numerals here. I just got this one done in August, I believe. 
but that is my grandpa's birthday. That is my mom's dad. I was very, very close to my grandpa. We had a relationship that I just, I loved him to death my whole entire childhood. He was there for me and I wanted to remember him. He, uh, I can't think of exactly what he served in, but he was just, he was just a figure in my life that was so, I don't want to cry. Um, he was just so influential for me in my childhood and everything like that. So that tattoo does mean a lot to me. I love sharing that with people when they do ask what it means. It's, um, he's always with me and I, with the night he died, I, we sat in the emergency room with him and I just held his hand and just kind of had like a flashback, like of my whole entire like my whole entire childhood with him in it and all the happy memories. So this tattoo does mean a lot to me. It just keeps him with me and it's just something I'm always happy to share with people because I don't want his legacy, memory, everything like that to ever be forgotten. So he is on me for life and I am always happy to tell people about that. My mom also did get it on the back of her arm too. So I didn't think this would be difficult talking about these, but you do kind of think about like what they actually mean to you when you show them. So that is that one. I will stop crying. Ooh. Sunday, it's happy day. We don't need to cry. Okay. That one didn't really hurt either, just so you guys know. I'm gonna actually sit down so you're looking at me at like an angle. So my last tattoo is actually on my right foot. This one also means a lot to me. I hope I don't cry for this one. Uh, this one is on my foot. I will perk it up for you guys to see, but my foot actually says Amazing Grace. I hope you guys can see that. It is in a really pretty cursive on my foot. Amazing Grace is a song that, uh, Amazing Grace is a song that my mom and I have loved my whole life. Um, it's a song that really brings me peace and happiness when I hear it because I was obviously raised in a church and you know, everybody has their songs, everybody has the ones that they really, really like, and Amazing Grace has just always brought me to tears, and I have sang it in several points in my life that are difficult. It's just the song I pull out, you know, weekly, monthly, whatever, that just brings me some peace, and I don't know, my mom and I just, we both really, really love that song. So she actually has that on her wrist, and I have it on my foot. It is a song my mom wants that played at her funeral, a song I want played at mine, uh, just a song that, I really, really love, so it's meaningful to me in that sense. Uh, just a really, 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 really meaningful song in my life, so. All right, so that is seven tattoos total. I actually always forget that number when I tell people because they all were done at certain points in my life. Uh, in tattoos terms, you always need to go, you know, if you're gonna go get one, make sure you go to a licensed tattoo artist. I have gone to, I will put the artist's name down below in Cedar Rapids who I have gone to for almost every single tattoo I have. He's absolutely phenomenal. I would recommend him to anybody. His work is amazing. Uh, I have gone to a couple other people, but he's the one I would tell you to go to. Um, Tattoos do hurt, I won't lie to you, they definitely do hurt, and I would say if you're gonna get one, don't, I hate when people post like, what should I get, or what sounds good, like, make sure the tattoo is meaningful to you, because that is on your body for your entire life, you know, make sure you know what you're doing before you go through with it, uh, don't let anybody give you shit about your tattoos, you know, I know I'm gonna get negative comments on this video, I don't care, it is your body, it is your life, do what you want to do with your body. I don't I don't understand why people try to put people down about it. I truthfully think it is your life. It is your time to live it. You know, do what you want to do. So those are all my tattoos. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had a few things in it, haul, food, you know, the typical kind of thing. I really appreciate you guys watching this and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I actually get my wisdom teeth pulled tomorrow, so that is how my week's gonna go. And I have my first Balance Athletica launch tomorrow. They launched, let me show the Journey collection. So this will be up after that, I think. But if you did get any pieces from the launch, awesome for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, love you all so much.